In this tutorial, we will use Moveit Perception Pipeline with Isaac Sim. Perception Pipeline enables us to plan trajectory of an arm which avoids obstacles by using point cloud data obtained from RGBD camera. In the left image, we have a robotic arm, two obstacles and a cube. We also have an RGBD camera which is not shown in the image. On the right side, there is a voxel grid reconstructed from a point cloud obtained from the camera. When we run the simulation, we can see that after grasping the cube, the robotic arm moves by following the trajectory which avoids vertical cylinders. Now let's see how we did this. This tutorial was created using Isaac Sim 4.5, but you can run it using the newly released Isaac Sim 5.0 as well. Isaac Sim 5.0 requires Python 3.11, as mentioned in this page. So, firstly, we are going to create virtual environment. Refresh the package lists for upgrades using the apt update command. Then, install these three packages. By entering this command, we will install Python 3.11. Now we can create a virtual environment. In this tutorial we create a virtual environment by the name Isaac Sim 5. Run your virtual environment. To install the Isaac Sim 5.0, execute this command. Installation will take approximately 20 minutes. Now we can run Isaac Sim 5.0. Note that when you run it for the first time, it will take some time before you will be able to operate GUI. But because Isaac Sim 5.0 has just been released, version 4.5 might be more stable for now. Now, let's see what we have added to our general MoveIt setup. Please download the Isaac MoveIt Perception zip file and extract it to your home directory. The MoveIt configuration is created in the Perception Pipeline Demo Launch Python script. This is the common configuration except the fact that this time we also have a configuration for our camera. Open this YAML file. Octomap resolution defines size of each voxel. In the sensor plugin key, the name of the plugin that we are using is defined. Note that we have to install the Moveit Raw's perception package to use this plugin. The point cloud topic defines the topic to listen on for a point cloud. This should be the topic name that we have defined in Isaac Sim. The max range key defines distance within which points will be used. Points further than this distance will not be used. The point subsample key defines how many points from the incoming point cloud are actually processed when updating the Octomap. One means that all incoming points will be processed. If you set this figure to 2, every second point will be processed. The padding offset defines the padding size to be applied to the robot's mesh when filtering links from the octree. The padding scale key defines the scaling factor to be applied to the robot's mesh when filtering links from the octree. The max update rate defines rate at which Octomap representation will be updated. Note that depending on computational load, actual update rate may be lower. 
The filtered cloud topic defines topic name on which the filtered cloud will be published. This feature is mostly for debugging. Under the self-filter key, we write links of a robot which we would like to exclude from the point cloud. Because we would like to exclude the whole robot, here we write all links of the robotic arm. Now let's see our Isaac Sim setup. Open the Move It Perception World USD file. This file contains everything we need to do the simulation. But I will show how to create the key features. As I explained in the introduction, as an obstacle, we have two cylinders. As an object to grasp, we have a cube. All these objects we can create from the shape menu. In the mesh menu we can change object size. In case of a cylinder, it is radius and height. Note that for physical simulation, we have to add rigid body with collider's preset property and mass property. To create a camera, select camera from the create tab. Sometimes camera is not shown but it is there. To publish a point cloud topic, we should create an omni graph. From the tools tab, move to robotics, ROS2 omni graphs. Select camera. As camera prim select the camera that we just created. Check depth point clouds. Rename this topic to the name that we previously set in the sensors 3D um file. One important setting is that we enable the use system time option. By enabling it, we don't have to set the use sim time parameter for each node in our launch file. Also, in the ROS2 publish transform tree node, we enable static publisher option. This is because camera is fixed in place and we don't have to publish its position each simulation step. Regarding the robotic arm, we can import URDF file or load it from Isaac Sim assets. To run the simulation, build the packages and launch the perception pipeline demo launch Python script. Then, push the play button in Isaac Sim. If there are several voxels around the arm, run the launch file once again. The arm will perform grasping by running the pick place with grasp executable file. This file is similar to the one we used in the previous tutorial. But this time we have additional modifications. In Revis, we create a cube on the same place as the cube which is located in the Isaac Sim. Then, after the gripper closes its fingers, we attach the cube to the gripper. By doing this, cube becomes recognized as part of the arm and its point cloud will be filtered. After the arm opens its fingers, we detach the cube and it falls on the ground. 